Then it was shit like we went on tour, right? And we went on tour. This tour was already at a loss because we wasn't really getting, you know. Well, mind you, mind you, we signed a deal October. Yeah. We take the tour on in October, mm-hmm. right? And this is also Same per month. guidance with management, right? So you know him going on a tour for sixty days, getting paid pretty much nothing, like five hundred a show, four hundred a show, whatever it is, right? Like nothing. Four or five hundred a show. Right? How many shows? 40. 40, 60 days, right? Now you know that nice. there's no way he's making money with a bus, people. Like, you know this. Yeah. It's going negative. Yeah. Right? We all know it, right? How many like, 50 toys you've been on? Right? Like, you, you like know he knows this, bro. You like, he knows it better than me. You know, like, you know, you know right? how to do it. So work, I said, so this is what happened. Yeah. I said to him, I said, bro, this is about to be negative because I'm putting the numbers together. I'm like, where's the money to pay for this? We can't even pay for it. The tour right. support ain't even kicked in yet. We just signed. So it's like, we. So he goes, um, we just gonna make it happen. This, you know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, cool. So we're in this. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So, cause I had a marketing company, I'm now tapping into marketing clients I got that might want to do a sponsorship for a joint Lucas tour. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? So here, I lock in a bag for twenty thousand. Boom, towards the tour. Lock in forty thousand. Boom. We're right? making this shit so happen I'm, while we on the road. Real time. Then mm. we're using our merch money to pay for the fucking bus to pay. You know what I'm saying? In real time. We're using in real time, we're doing this, right? How much money did we make from the merch? 700? All right, that's perfect. Bro, so we not even. For gas two, to get 300 a night. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Right? Yeah, and and so then check. you got to worry about food, hotel, all, all, all that. that. So check. Right. So we had to sleep on it with 10, 12 niggas sleeping on one bus. So check. Two niggas in one bed. Pause. Yeah, yeah, bro, it was, it was what, we were sleeping upright like this on chairs yeah. in the lounge. But anyway, so we get off this tour, right? We get off this tour 60 days. Um, Drew, and bed, hit, uh, Drew and Shaw had to share a, a recliner. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Super pose. <laughs> yeah, so check. So, so, <laughs> so 60 days, we done with the tour, right? We off tour, right? Right. So now it's a loss, right? Right. And... Shaw go, all right, so I want my commission. Wow. And so I was like, bro, this whole shit was a loss. What do you mean? Bro, this guy tried to take a commission out of the sponsorship money that I bought to the table to help pay for the tour. How much percentage? Um, well, I don't want to go into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but check. What I'm saying is I bought 60000 to the table to, to help, help with pay the for the tour. The Not for me. I didn't commission so that because I'm L. bringing the shit. Right. Right. I'm just trying to, to fund it. He's to take a commission off again. Off trying to take a commission off of this right. over off a here. sponsorship yes. that he didn't bring. Yes. Yes. He didn't even bring. I bought it. Yes. But I bought it to help pay for the tour. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because if, listen, he got 100K advance, right? He had to take 20,000 out of that to help pay for the tour. Damn. But. Do you know how much a bus costs to operate a tour bus? Yeah. It's a thousand, twelve hundred a day. With a driver, hotels yeah. at two thousand a day. We're on the road for sixty days. Yeah. That's a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So I bought in sponsorship bread. He took money out of his advance, yeah. and we paid to make the tour happen. Yeah. Yeah. Then he said, "I want my commission off the tour," and I said, "What commission? We just pulled money together to try and make the tour happen." Right. Well, the sponsorship bread was this much. I'm saying, bro, you trying to commission that? That's like as good as me putting up the bread. I went and got that shit from my existing business to make this happen. That's dumb. He was he was adamant about it. He wasn't in tune enough to know no. that the tour bro. was in the negative. And bro, of course he, he knew. Money bro. Was coming he, knew. From. he was on the tour. He didn't. Give I'm asking. Yeah, no, he, he knew. Didn't care. He wanted to get. His bro, he was cut. on the road with us. It was for his. Benefit <laughs> what you mean? Of his cut of he was on the road with us. It wasn't for the future of the business of Jordan Lucas because he really believes in it's what we do. Check. It. It's it was, check. I need the it's check. check. I need it's the check. Not reinvesting. I need the check. He wasn't investing. I don't know. He ain't put the tour together. That's why he was so comfortable with getting when. It was time for us to part ways. I had to pay this motherfucker out, which to, I was to part ways. To part ways, which was fine, right? Because because you was, lost out on M's. Because you lost out on M's. So I'm like, oh, this is great. Mm-hmm. All I gotta do is sign this shit, and then he gets this much, and then I'm, I know in a couple months I'm about to get this much. If his dumb ass just waited and just been in the in the business of Jordan Lucas, he would have came up, like, and at the time. So I was going through a bunch of personal shit, hmm. divorces and, you know, all kind of shit that he was going through. So I feel like he was in survival mode. 
Mm. Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? And because he was in survival mode, everything was all about immediate. Check, the money, the immediate, immediate yeah. gratification, right? right? right. And it was right. like, my nigga, you, if you gonna take this check, you realize that me, the artist, I'm not even getting paid. I gotta come out my pocket to pay for this. Bro, oh, hold on. This survival so, survival mode like, ain't an excuse because we all in survival 100%, mode at this moment. Right. 100%. Yeah, every, we, hold on. We, everybody's hold on. gonna react differently but, but, when, they, uh, when they're back. But we in more so survival some mode fight, some than crumb. you. You made. Uh, oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. That's relative. Hold on. Bro, you've been in this business a long time. You could have did this with any artist. No, I'm not. I'm he, not he could pick who he wanna do this shit with. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Drew. What he's saying is that you can't really, you can't, you can't really uh, determine how somebody else is gonna perceive or act based off of their survival mode. Right. right. So somebody right. else's survival mode, it might be real to them. It might not be that real to you, but that's subjective, right? So which cool. is all I'm saying. That's all he's saying. So he's saying you might have not reacted, and I might have not reacted, but another nigga in survival mode might end up being a greedy nigga in survival mode because that's just how he because is. Because circumstances right. will, will create 100%. certain things with certain people. Right. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so that was tall, right? Not saying it's good or bad. Not right. saying yeah. it's good cool. or bad. So we got label, mm-hmm. with lawyer, we got tall, then we go to publishing. Yep. All right? So 